Hey guys, so we're back and we're going to get started off right where we left. We're not just going to get right to it. Uh, like I said, guys, if you're enjoying this of me just going through my collection and just talking and telling you stories here and there of old decks I played. And back in my day of Yu-Gi-Oh, we normal summon, summon Skull and pass turn. Uh, yeah, that's a secret rare. <laughs> uh, thumbs up and like this video so I know you're enjoying this content. But uh, let's get back to this video, guys. So, uh, like the last page, which was a tribute to one of my favorite decks, uh, Gravekeepers, this is a tribute to my OG Six Samurais. So you got your old Super Shogun Sheehan that I used to play for years. Uh, my Ultimate Rare Anishi that I played for years. <laughs> uh, don't play him that much anymore. Though he some, I, I've always wanted to put him back in the deck because he always puts in work. But these are pretty much the OG Six Samurais that I used to play with. And then you just got alternate artworks of the Egyptian gods that I keep in here. Spell Shadow, I love this card. This won me a couple of games back in the day. I keep it in here. Uh, OG Dark Magicians. Mega Rock Dark Dragon, I thought it looked cool. Vampire Genius, because I love this artwork of this card. This card apparently has gone up in price. I have a couple of them. But these boys have gone up in price for random reasons I do not know. But, uh, yeah, I love this card just for the meme. <laughs> D's Boys. Just such a bad card, but such a cool meme. But the secret rare D's Boys. Um, Kazuki Takahashi artwork, Dark Magician. My secret rare Summon Skull. I had two of these. One was an ultimate rare and one was the secret that I used to play back in the day. This guy saw a lot of action. He's actually in pretty good condition considering how much I played him. Um... Dark Sage. I brought this from a very good friend of mine who is a, still a good friend that I keep in contact with. I brought this card for five bucks <laughs> uh, before cards went up in price. I think this card's up in price now, and eventually I may do a deck profile of this deck. Comment down below if you would love to see that. Uh, what else we got? Dark number 60. Pickaroo. I've always wanted to build a deck around these girls. Just the Picaroos, but they're just there's no way of building it, really, it feels like. Skyscraper, because I used to play Heroes back in the day before they were cool, and back when Heroes guys sucked, and nobody wanted to play Heroes because they were like, they're trashy vanillas, and this was back in the day before Miracle Fusion, and Skyscraper was the only good thing about them. Just saying, there was a time. Um, how OG of a hero are you? <laughs> Uh, shrink, Kaiba card. Vampire Lord, my OG ones, Kaiba card. You know how to collect them. Glad Beast. I just love the Glad Beast because they're based off old Roman heroes and figures from Roman, you know, pretty much and Greek uh, time frames. Um, so I collect all, just a bunch of the different ones. So that's why you have Gladiator Alexandria, Gladiator Beast Octavian, um, stuff of that nature. So I got from a buddy of mine some Japanese packs years ago, and this was this random hollow I pulled back in the day. And I actually have this deck still, but I keep the hollow version of this card in here. Uh, the Wild uh, Rebellion, I used to play this a lot in some fun decks. My Arm Dragon Secret, my Gil, Fle uh, my Gil Frida Lightning. Uh, I used to play this in a deck for fun, but my Gil Freed's. Uh, Violet Witch, I love the artwork based on Akiza. Hypo uh, Psychic Blaster, I love the artwork of this card, I pulled it as well. Zodiac Webtail, this is an ultimate rare and it has a cool story behind it actually. So I got this years ago when I was living down in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, and I was down there for a year playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And uh, I pulled this out of a tournament pack. And people offered me five, six bucks because Zodiacs had just gotten hit. I said no. I said this will go up eventually. They're like, nah, it never will. Yeah, I still have it. How much was this card at one point earlier this year? Yeah, just saying. A lot more than five bucks. Uh, but I eventually want to build a Zodiac deck with that in it. What else we got here? Slushies! Yes! Oh my gosh. I haven't looked at this binder in so long, so I forget what's in it. Slushy! I got my OTS, my excuse me, my Astro Plaque, my Astro Pack Super Slushies. Slushy's awesome. Slushy's amazing. Slushy for life. I uh, love that artwork of that card. That card just, I'm so happy they did that. 
Uh, Legacy of Yadagarasu for Yadagarasu. Ghost of a Grudge. I love the arc of this card. People thought this was going to be a good side deck card back in the day. Banisher of Light. This card looks badass. I love it. He's just like, no, you be banished. But not just from an artwork standpoint, it was one of the first original super rares that I pulled back in the day. Uh, that's the original one too, by the way. Uh, Blasting Sphere. Love this card. I got this out of a jump promo years ago. Yes. Naruto. Awesome. Who doesn't love Naruto? And I love this because it's got Goku. He's in Goku's Gi. So that's so cool. That's a, I love this card. Um, Paradox Fusion because of the five-headed dragon. Zombie Return. I used to play this in a, in a weird, funny zombie deck. Beta the Warrior Secret Rare. I have a whole bunch of these because I used to play them in decks. Spy Quick Fix. Yes. Love this card. Love this deck. Um... Tamias, because of Tamias, Yugi. Sandwich. It wasn't until recently that you could play Sandwich in Yu-Gi-Oh, guys. You know, Konami eventually, you know, at one point in Yu-Gi-Oh, did not like you having sandwiches. Because, you know, they had Sangan, but no Witch. And one was banned, one was off. You couldn't instant fusion it. But now Konami's being nice. And you have a bunch of ways you can play Sandwich. So Sandwich for the win. I love Sandwich. Uh, Judgment of Anubis. Love the card. Love the artwork. Love the lore. Good card too. Pulled this card back in the day. And I think it looks beautiful. So, yeah. Uh, card Trader. Super. Oh, Dark Paladin. Yeah. Uh, this is a limited edition one that I've had for years. Love the card. Love the artwork. Really good card also have a bunch of these. I got these from buddies back in the mind of the day. I just, they gave them to me. They didn't want them because they got like those big sets. Now they're worth money. So, cool. Uh, Chaz Princeton. This card I used to run in Dark Magician for a hot moment, believe it or not. Love this card. Super artwork. Awesome card. Love the artwork too. Pretty good card actually. Uh, Black Wings. Cards of the Feather. I used to run this back in the day. My Marauding Captains. I have a couple of them, but I keep a couple of them in here as well. Uh, how many Ultimate Rares do I got? I got my Rare one I had, but I have one of my... Uh, this is a Hobby League um, Marauding Captain that I got back in the day. And I used to play with this in a lot of decks. Because I used to play Warrior Toolbox for a long time. And Marauding Captain was a big part of that. And I got this Hobby League one back in the day. So it's really cool. It's a Hobby League Marauding Captain. Um, what else we got here? Red Dragon Archfiend. I got that out of a pack years ago. Dark Magical Curtain used to be in my OG Dark Magician deck. I got a whole bunch of these, I think, in here. Uh, got a couple secrets. <laughs> uh, Tomb Golem because Tomb Golem's cool. Fairy Cheer Girl. I love the card. Hollow, hollow, brain of Talo, noggin's gone, nothing's there, something, something, love the lore, love the card. Um, hate the deck, love the deck, super. Always wanted to build a deck around this thing. Always wanted to build it, but I couldn't. But the artwork is badass. What else we got over here? Alluring Queen. So... I got my Akiza cards down here because I love Akiza. Alluring Queens here are really cool. So the this one here is misprinted, actually. It's kind of cool. So this one here, I've always wanted to build a deck around here, but I just don't know how to build this deck of just the level monsters of Alluring Queen or how I could base a deck on it. If you have any suggestions, let me know. But this is an Ultimate Rare Alluring Queen I have. Really cool. And then I have a... Uh, misprinted alluring queen number seven if you look closely you'll see that uh, the print is way the heck off like it's not even in the center a little bit off center like it's way the heck up there almost off the card uh celestia because i used to play this uh, in light swarms for a hot moment this is an ultimate rare one i had for years um cynthia yeah, I think this card's still worth a lot of money. I got this from a buddy of mine years ago. Well, not that long ago, actually, but a couple years ago. This is Cynthia. 
Cynthia's Bay. I love Lance, but I love Cynthia more. So I love my dragon, ladies. What can I say? Guard Chomp for life. Even though Dragonite's my favorite. Um, next up, more Celtic Guardian stuff. Rebellion, because I just like the artwork of this card. Uh, Sorcerer of Dark Magic. My brother pulled this out of the uh, packs at the movie theater, so that's why I have a hollow um, Sorcerer of Dark Magic instead of the common one that I pulled. Uh, Barrel Behind Door, cool artwork. Princess Cologne. This will be played in a deck in the near future because she's getting new support. Uh, Gear Free, uh, the Iron Knight, a secret rare of him, which is so cool. Uh, this is really cool. So I got this as a gift from somebody I met down in Richmond. Awesome guy. He w lived in Japan, and he gave me this card. And this was apparently for going to eat at a restaurant. This is the Japanese alternative artwork of Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And I don't know if I can sh do it in this video. But if you look closely, yeah, you can see it there. It has the Kaiba technology where it says KC. Where does it say KC? It's been so long. Yeah, you can see it right there in the video probably. If you look up in the corner. There you go. You can see the KC right there. So it has that foil artwork, which we never got over here. I was kind of surprised we never did. You know, when you like play the thing in the field, it lights up. So it's that full technology, and we never got it. But uh, I got this, and this is a card that means a lot to me because uh, it was given to by a viewer and subscriber. But just in general, I love the card. I've always I love that. That's one of my favorite cards. Um, so happy to get that card when I got it. When he gave it, to me, I was like, "Bro, no, no, really?" And he's like, "Yeah, you can have it." I was like, "Oh!" So uh, homunculus. I wanted to build a deck out of this, couldn't. Super Bazol the So Eater. Remember how broken this card was until the errata? Like a, like a month later? Sanctuary of the Card Return. Used to play this in Zombies. Ancient Lamp. I built a deck around this card. Finally. Yamato Dragon. Pulled this card. Turbo Warrior. Junk Berserker. My Yusei cards. And Concealed Souls of Light. I used to run this card. I had this card for years, but I love the artwork of this card too. Uh, as an ultimate rare. It looks so creepy. Uh, Blue Eyes Paladin from my OG Blue Eyes deck. I uh, have a couple of these, actually. Gaia. I need to do a deck profile of him. Rosebud. Great movie. Great, 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 great movie, Rosebud. Um, Card of Last Wheel, just cool artwork. All my spellbinding circles from back in the day. Ryoko. So this is not in here because of the card artwork, which I think is badass. The secret rare artwork is badass from the game promo. But uh, one of my first original favorite animes was Tenchi Muya, and I love Ryoko in that moose, that anime series. So yes, Dragon Zuler for Dragon Rulers, Insect Queen, uh, Dual Terminal, Grand Samurai, uh, Grand Master of the Six Samurai that I used to play for years. Uh, won my a tournament with this back in the day and topped at a YCS with this uh, this uh, this one back in the day. Uh, not YCS, I I, I almost topped. <laughs> uh, Chain Destruction. Love this card. Love this card. Love the artwork of this card. I got this so I just got this from a buddy of mine years ago. But this artwork looks so cool. It's an ultimate rare. Uh, Hammer Shot, ultimate rare. Used to play that in a deck. Dark Mimicry, play that in some scapegoat decks. Ultimate rare. Just random ultimate rares I got in here. That pan, they've gone up in price. This card looks so bad as an ultimate rare, I have to say. Look at that. So cool. Um, what else we got here? Oh, fake red eyes, real red eyes. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to end it here, guys, because my my camera's about to die. Uh, we'll do another part in a bit, but uh, Magical Hats, my Archlord Christia deck. But uh, till next time, guys, take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. My camera is about to die, so I want to end the video here. 
Uh, if you guys are enjoying this series, remember to leave a thumbs up and comment down below so I know that you, so I can keep doing it and know that you are enjoying it. But hope you're enjoying these little stories and walk down memory lane. Take care, guys.